We will study adrenal biopsy from 56-year-old woman with long-time history of diabetes and present proteinuria. There are two cores of kidney tissue. This lower magnification allows us to spot some difference between them. One core contains only renal cortex. In the cortex, we can observe rounded structures. These are glomeruli. The other core is composed of renal medulla, and we can only observe tubular structures with no glomeruli. In the evaluation of a kidney biopsy, we first start localizing the injury, whether it is glomerular, interstitial, or vascular. In many cases, there are more than one compartment involved, especially in advanced stages of a disease. Our case shows involvement of the three compartments. However, the glomeruli is the predominant compartment that is involved. Therefore, we will start focusing on the description of the patterns of glomerular injury that can be observed. There are 17 glomeruli in this core, most of them showing chronic lesions. We observe diffuse expansion of the mesangial matrix. This nodular, this expansion is somewhat in a nodular shape. This nodular accumulation of homogeneous eosinophilic material is a cellular and is strongly PS positive. Another stain used in renal biopsy is the trichrome stain. That stain in blue fibrosis in the interstitium and sclerosis in the glomeruli. These nodules stain in blue with mason trichrome stain. These nodular lesions can be observed in diabetic nephropathy and their name are chemistry Wilson lesions. They were first described by chemistry and Wilson in 1936. Another feature that can be observed is the thickening of the glomerular basement membrane. Also, the size of this glomeruli is somewhat increased, most likely due to the hyperfiltration and increased capillary pressure that is observed in these kidneys. This glomeruli show ischemic changes. It's a sclerotic glomeruli that shows collagen forming internal of the Bauman's capsule. This change is commonly found when arterial disease is advanced. In here, we observe hyaline deposition in the arteriola, into the vascular pool of the glomeruli. Hyaline arteriosclerosis is a frequent manifestation of diabetic renal disease, and is also more pronounced in diabetes than in other diseases of the kidney. Here is another arteriola showing hyaline deposition. In the artery, we show increased intimal thickening. Focusing in the intubal interstitium, we can observe areas, patch areas of tubular preservation and areas of tubular atrophy with tubular basement membrane thickening.
this tubular basement membrane thickening is more than what we would expect for the degree of atrophy. We can also observe hyaline cast in these tubules. The interstition is also increased due to a fibrosis. This fibrotic process in the interstition can be better observed and stained in blue with trichrome stain. In this case, the immunofluorescence was negative, and electron microscopy showed the thickening of the glomerular basement membrane in most loops and segmental effacement of the epithelial cells. The final diagnosis was diabetic nephropathy.